hello guys i want to thank you for watching nancy tv youtube channel i appreciate all my subscribers thanks for your support in today's tutorial, i would like to show you the easiest method to make a six pieces blouse without wasting much fabric so the first step is to fold the fabric into two as shown now i'll roll out the starting line then i'll roll half an inch for the seam allowance to attach the shoulders together I'll place the tape below the starting line to mark the nipple point, which is 9 inches. Then the under bust point, which is 13 inches. And the waistline, which is 15 inches. The full length of the blouse is 23 inches, so I'll add 2 inches to the M allowance, and all together it will be 25 inches. The next step is to create the dart line. So to do this, you divide the bust band measurement by 2 inches. So the bust band is 7 inches, divided by 2, I have 3.5 inches, which I'll then add half an inch seam allowance, and that'll be 4 inches. Now I'll mark 4 inches from the fold on the lines. As shown. The next step is to get the bust that. So, on the bust point line, I'll mark half an inch above the line then on the starting line i'll mark one inch before the dart line then i'll connect the two points together On the under bust line, I'll mark one inch because this is for a small size person. But for a person with a bigger bust, 1.5 inches can be used. Now on the waistline, I'll also mark one inch. So this means that if I had marked 1.5 inches on the under bust line, I would have also marked 1.5 inches on the waistline. Now I'll use a French curve to connect the points from the under bust down to the bust points as shown. Here I'll mark 3 inches after the dart line which will form the A line or the flare at the bottom of the blouse. Then I'll connect these points to the waist dart as shown. After cutting out the center piece for the front panel, I'll place the center piece on the other side to cut out the two sides of the front panel. Now I'll use the center panel to cut out the side panels for the bust curve. The next step is to mark down my measurements. To do this, I have to subtract the center piece before placing the measurements. Here I have 4 inches and this is my bust point. Now I'll place the tip as shown to 
subtract four inches because this center piece is supposed to be at this side so my bust is 34 divided by four and that's it enough then i will add about two and a half inches seam allowance now on my under bust line i have three inches i'll put it here to subtract three inches my under bust is 28 inches if i divide by four i have seven inches and i will add two and a half inches seam allowance and that'll be nine and a half inches so this is my waistline that is my half length so i have three inches now i'll place the tape to subtract three inches the waist circumference is 26 inches divided by four and that's six and a half inches then i'll add two and a half inches seam allowance now i'll connect the waist point to the bust point and i'll also connect the bust point straight to the shoulder line now on the waist point i'll really straight line down to the m now i'll mark three inches for the a-line at the bottom then i'll connect the waist point down to the three inches Now I'll trim out about one inch at the bottom of the flare so it doesn't look funny after joining. Now you can decide to pad the fabric then take this to the sewing machine to join. After joining, you put it on full to trim out the neckline and the ham hole. But if you don't want to do it this way, I'll show you how to trim out the neckline and the ham hole. Since you'll be joining by half an inch, all you need to do is to pin the sides by half an inch all through. The shoulder measurement is 13 inches divided by 2 is 6 and a half inches. Then I'll add half inch sewing allowance and that will be 7 inches. Now I'll mark 1 inch for the shoulder slope then connect it to the joining at the top. For the arm hole, the arm hole is 14 inches divided by 2 and I have 7 inches. Then I'll connect it to the shoulder slope as shown. Now I'll mark the midpoint of the arm hole. then i'll come in by half an inch to connect the points Now I'll be using a neck depth of 6 inches and a neck width of 3.5 inches. This is the back panel on fold, which I already marked 2 inches for the zip allowance. So the first step is to roll out the starting line, then to roll out half inch seam allowance to join the shoulder slope. Now I'll place the tape below the line to mark 9 inches. So 9 inches is the bust point line. I only marked 9 inches to guide me on how to do the back dots. 
the next line is the half length line which is 15 inches then the full length of the blouse is 23 inches but i added 2 inches to the seam allowance and that's 25 inches the next step is to mark the dart line which is the bust band divided by 2 so i'll place this tape this way starting from the zip allowance line to mark 4 inches then i also mark 4 inches on the bust point line then 4 inches on the waist line as shown So to mark the dot, I'll mark half inch on the waistline as shown. Then I'll connect to the bust line. So on the M line, I'll mark 3 inches for the flare, which I'll then connect to the waistline as shown. Now I'll cut the center back out. Now I have the fabric folded into two again which i'll then use the center piece of the back to cut out the two sides of the back panel just like we did when cutting the front panel So before taking measurements, I'll fold in the zip allowance so it doesn't affect the measurements. So on the center piece, I have 4 inches on the bust point line. So I'll place the tape this way to subtract 4 inches. Then I'll divide my bust circumference into 4, then add about 2.5 inches allowance just like we did in the front panel. Then on the waistline, I'll place my tape to measure what I have. Yeah, I have three and a half inches. So I will place the tape to subtract three and a half inches. Divide the waist circumference by four, then add two and a half inches seam allowance to the side. Now I'll connect the points together. So for the flare at the bottom, I'll mark 3 inches, which I'll connect to the waist point. At the bottom of the flea, I'll mark one inch at the side to trim. Now to get the armhole and the neckline, 
I'll fold the joining by half an inch as shown. Then I'll place the tape starting from the zip allowance to mark the shoulder measurement. Now I'll mark one inch for the shoulder slope, then connect to the joining. So I'll place the tape below the shoulder slope to mark 7 inches, which is the bust line. Next step is to get the midpoint of the armhole. For the back panel, you can decide to do any neckline of your choice, but I'll be doing a V neckline. So I'll place the tape starting from the zip allowance to mark three and a half inches as a neck width. Then I'll also mark seven inches as a neck depth. Now I'll use a straight ruler to connect the points together as shown. Since it's a v-neck, make sure that the v-shape doesn't get to the zip allowance so it doesn't give you difficulties when fixing the zip. So in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you the easiest method to pad and sew the six pieces blouse. Alright guys, thank you for watching to the very end. I hope this was helpful and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, share and like my videos.